One common problem that people face is Ethernet doesn't have a valid IP configuration. Now this problem would not let you connect to the internet and would be annoying to solve especially when you are trying to get some work done. Now here are the 7 fixes that would help you fix this issue. I am going to discuss about these 4 fixes that are very important in case you are faced with the error Ethernet doesn't have a valid IP configuration. Now, without much ado, let's jump into it. This is Sonet from TechEdrucker. The first on my list is configuring the network adapter setting. So from the search bar, you can type there run application and then you need to type ncpa.cpl in the text box and then hit enter. Now the shortcut to go to run application is also windows keys plus R. Now you need to right click on the option that reads Ethernet or Wi-Fi as the case might be and then from there right click and go to properties. Now if you are the administrator, the windows administrator, you might get a reconfirmation pop up. You need to allow so that you go to the next step. Now if you are not the admin, then what you need to do is that there are huge number of list of different items that will come up with checkboxes. You need to find internet protocol version 4 that is TCP IP 4. Now, Select that, just click on it and then go to the properties button there. Once you click the properties button, you would come across two tabs. So you need to only focus on the general section. Now under the general tab, you would find the option of obtain an IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically. These two options are vital. Now, Click this and press OK. Now all that's left to do is rebooting your computer or PC as well as your router. Now if this option didn't work for you, coming to the next option is resetting your network settings. You will need to proceed to flush the DNS server now, reset the socket and reconnect again. So press the Windows key and R and then from the windows run application you need to type cmd and then press enter the command prompt will basically open now you need to copy and paste these commands that you see on the screen and press enter after doing this step again you need to run the run application and then you need to type ncpa.cpl as we did in the previous step Right click on your Ethernet or Wi-Fi option whichever is valid in your case and then you need to find the disable option that is showing up on the list. Click that and once it is disabled again you need to enable the option. So basically what you are doing here is you are disabling it and then again you know you are refreshing the memory and then you are again enabling it. Once you have done this step the only option left in this case is restarting your computer. Now again, this is considered as also one of the most popular fixes to the Ethernet doesn't have a valid IP configuration issue. Now, does your problem still persist? If it does, then you move to the next step, if uninstalling and installing your Windows update. Now, the recent Windows updates could also be the culprit here. Hence, if you are facing this problem right after updating windows you might need to roll back to the previous version of the os so from the start menu you need to type settings from the search bar and then the first option that comes up is the settings now from settings you go to update and security option and from there you need to click view update history option which will take you to check for updates button. Now uninstall updates option will be shown on the left 
top corner so if you click that you would see what all installed updates of windows version you already have so you have to right click each option one by one and uninstall it so that you revert it back to the previous option now once you have done this again reboot your pc or laptop the next on my list is disabling ip version 6 the issue might occur due to IPs not supporting IP version 6 address. Hence, if you need to actually disable IP version 6 in those cases, now how would you do that? So you need to again, you know, go back to that same uh, window that is the Wi-Fi properties that I showed you some time back. So again, for those who have not, you know, seen that option, you press Windows R option and then you know you can type control panel and hit enter go to network and sharing center and from there you can go to change adapter settings and go to the ethernet option or wi-fi option right click it go to properties and then you are there on the wi-fi properties and from there you would see the entire list of options that come up with the check boxes find and uncheck internet protocol version 6 that is tcp ip version 6 and then you need to click ok now these were some of the most common fixes of the issue ethernet doesn't have a valid ip configuration problem if none of the above fixes helped you solve the problem you might want to reinstall windows again and try reconnecting to the ethernet or you can also check my blog where i have the other fixes mentioned i would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel pressing the notification bell so that you are notified as soon as i come up with such videos now there are two videos that are coming up right now on your screen please make sure that you watch them till the end till the next time bye bye